Hello everybody, something a bit different today. I have received several requests for a video in which I speak about my time in Maastricht, a small town in the south of the Netherlands which I selected for my bachelor studies, all in English. For those of you who aren't following me on Facebook or Instagram, I graduated from the Maastricht Science Programme just over two months ago. The Maastricht Science Programme offers a liberal arts and sciences approach to the natural sciences. Basically, it's an interdisciplinary bachelor's degree during which students follow courses in biology, physics, chemistry, neuroscience and others. The intended result is for graduates to be well equipped to deal with the scientific challenges of the future, which may well require individuals who are not just knowledgeable about their own field but about others too. Since students design their own curricula, each freshman is assigned an academic advisor who ensures that the courses they pick complement each other. This facilitates a smooth transition from the program to a master's program or even to the world of work. Students graduate from the Maastricht Science program with a Bachelor of Science in Liberal Arts and Sciences. Don't panic, while this does sound very vague, your grade list will tell potential employers and university admissions teams what your specialisation has been. In comparison with universities in Germany, the UK and the US, Dutch universities are relatively easy to get into at bachelor level. All you need are your pre-university studies, be they A-levels, International Baccalaureate, CAPE, Big Up, or the SATs. Your grades needn't be the highest, though having a decent background will certainly stand you in good stead, since at the Maastricht Science Programme, just like all other Dutch universities, the first year does count so the stakes are high. Failing any core course will get you kicked out. The problem-based learning system takes some getting used to, so you may find yourself relying on your secondary school knowledge until you get the hang of it. You will certainly have a lot of work to do. Preparing for tutorials, revising lecture notes, doing assignments, writing lab reports, and giving presentations. So yes, while it is easy to get in, it's not so easy to stay in. I just mentioned problem-based learning, but I haven't really given you a proper explanation of what it is. Maastricht University is very proud of its student-centered approach to teaching. The main tenets of this are small groups, student-student interaction, independent study, research-based learning. Instead of attending lectures in huge theatres and barely interacting with professors, at the Maastricht Science Programme, students in groups of about 7 to 12 work together to solve a problem under the watchful eye of a tutor. The tutor makes sure that the students stay on track. At the end of the tutorial, students formulate learning goals to address the deficits in their knowledge. A few days later, students reconvene to discuss their findings and discuss any difficulties that came up in the literature. For me, this approach has been great because it teaches interpersonal skills. It equips students with the ability to have academic discussion. It encourages students to do their reading so they don't feel foolish in the next tutorial. It exposes students to different perspectives. It requires students to understand something so well that they can explain it to others. So in summary, at the Maastricht Science Programme, students do a lot. I've barely touched on the practical work, but there's that element as well. I know that there's more to discuss, so if you've any further questions, please post them below and I will reply or create another video in which I answer those questions.